today is the highly, highly anticipated leg day vlog. So people always want to know what I do for my leg training and stuff. At the moment I'm doing more CrossFit and stuff, but when I snapped my Achilles and had my shoulder operation, I did a lot of legs. And as you can see, I ripped my jeans from training legs. <laughs> <laughs> but jokes aside, uh, yeah, we're gonna go in, we're gonna smash some legs. We're gonna do what I would do if I was gonna go in and do my old leg day sessions. And even now, I still do them every now and then, so should be pretty sick. Let's get going. We are in S20 in Sheffield. The gym is sick. We've chosen a nice gym with open lighting and stuff like that, so I'm gonna go die and do a legs workout, and you're gonna follow along. And by the way, Check out. Check out that backpack. Huge in it. <laughs> Down in the end. Now I'm going to strip it back to 100 and just go for as many reps as I can, so wish me luck. <laughs> So that's what we're gonna do now. I'm gonna do my full workout in lifters. Basically, I'm being a bit lazy, so I'm gonna change them now to normal shoes. Normally, I only squat in my lifters, but today I've been a bit, a bit slack. So I'm gonna change them now, finish off the workout, and then go home and get some food. 
Tabata split squats next, so getting my timer ready to go. 10 seconds and then we'll get started. So this is good for time under tension. It's 20 seconds of continuous pressure on your quads and then you're swapping legs each time for eight rounds, so it's hard. How's that? So bad, so bad. So this is the final one now, it's Tabata calf raises. Reactive, so you're not spending any time resting. And these suck, so. I don't wanna do it. You all right, mate? Give me a minute, <laughs> I need a minute. <laughs> oh my God. We couldn't really talk much in there because of the music, but what I try and do when I do my leg days is like a power building format. So lifting heavy at the start. So we did three sets of five on squats and then we did a burnout set after that, which was fun. So when I stripped it back to hundred, just get some legs. And from there, I like to go away from the powerlifting side. So the powerlifting is the three sets of five where you're trying to get heavy and you go back to the bodybuilding style. So more hypertrophy. Today we were going sets of 12. So single leg leg press, we were bringing the leg down and making sure we stop at the bottom, taking all the pressure off of the muscles and then pressing back up from there, which was good. Three sets of 12 on there. Then we supersetted, which was good. Leg extension and leg curl. So I was trying to work on three second negatives and three second positives. So three seconds up, three seconds down as well. The sets of 12 on each of those. That's really good because what I'm trying to do when I'm thinking about my leg extension is I like to concentrate and see the muscles working. So you can literally see the muscles getting shorter, making sure you've got that full contraction at the top, really forcing that leg up, squeezing everything, and from there, slowly releasing, controlling it, back down, consciously thinking about it, I don't know. For me, I feel like the mind-muscle connection works quite well in my head, so I like to really control and think about what I'm doing, rather than just flinging weights up and down as fast as I can. We then did three sets of Tabata split squats, which is disgusting. So that's just time under tension on your legs. You're just going up and down, pulsing as fast as you can for 20 seconds, resting and swapping sides. Doing that for eight rounds, it's about four minutes, so it takes it out of you. Then you have to rest and go again, rest and go again as well. So they're disgusting, absolutely disgusting. You shouldn't be able to walk really by then. And then we just finished it off with a little bit of calves today. So we did the Tabata calf raises as well. I ended up one set of those because Eight rounds of Tabata calf raises when you're reactive and you're bouncing up and down as fast as you can is probably one of the hardest things I've ever done. I do really like this gym, so it's really cool. They've got big shutters that open, so it's quite a nice space. The machines are really good, there's so many plates, and it's good, it's really good for your legs workouts and stuff. So make sure you find a gym that you're comfortable with as well. I've only been here a few times, but I love it, it's sick. So, in terms of my legs workouts, I actually don't do too many at the moment. I just do my crossfit stuff but basically when I snapped my Achilles I lost so much size on my right leg and the biggest focus for me from there was to try to get it back so exactly what I did there is what I would do two or three times a week usually to build my size back up on my legs because you might as well go for it obviously there's other workouts like deadlifts I'd normally do heavier split squats with weights there's loads of other stuff I'd do but I like the format of power building which is what I showed you there so you'll have to give it a try Comment below if you tried it. Let me know if you found it hard. Let me know if you found it easy. If you found it easy, you need to up your weights or work on that tempo more. So they're my top tips really for that. And I hope that is a decent first leg workout vlog for you. The mic on. Right. So everyone's got their imbalances and stuff in their body. When I had my injury, my right side wasn't as weak. So I like to do a lot of single leg stuff to try and focus on both legs individually and make sure I can get as much out of them as I possibly can on both. Nowadays they're even, but that's why I do single leg leg press, why I do my single leg leg extension and same with the hamstring curl. So I can really, really concentrate and get that feeling in that leg and muscle and make sure I'm doing the best I can rather than compensating with the other leg. So that's one tip for me. Obviously there is a time when you want to use both legs like my squats, 
but I like a lot of single leg work because you'll find out your weaknesses and you can work on it from there. That's the leg session done. I'm gonna go home, get loads of food because I'm starving. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm gonna do more workout videos soon, so stay tuned for those. But if you did like it, give me a like. <laughs> I can't believe much. So yeah, if you did like it, give it a like and subscribe to see the future vlogs. They're gonna be weekly from now, which is gonna be exciting. And yeah, that's it. I'm gonna go home, have a good day, and I'll catch you in a bit. I promise, my mum normally ties my shoelaces. That's what's going on. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah. <laughs> you do. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Completely out. I've got nothing left. <laughs> Boom. Go, we go now. <laughs>